What's up guys, how's it going? It's the British Let's Plays here and I have some more Call of Duty 4 gameplay for you guys today. The aim was to get two videos out every day, but if I'm honest, realistically, it's looking like the internet isn't going to restrict that, but I'll try to get a video out every day, and I'll probably bring some Hitman or a single player game or something soon, because I've had Call of Duty going for the last two days or so, and it'd be nice to actually have some single player games rather than just Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Because I don't just play Call of Duty, I play lots of games. So... This is going to be an interesting video, <laughs> because I'm going to discuss something which could be open to debate, but if I'm honest, I really don't agree with the negative aspects of this story. So, this is a story involving the case of Madeline McCann. If any of you don't know, she was a young girl, she was very, very young, who was kidnapped from her home on May 3rd of 2007, I believe, and she has been missing ever since. Now, recently... Crime Watch, which is a BBC program where they show all the evidence to people on television and they also have a reconstruction a lot of the times and then people, if they recognise someone as part of the evidence, you know, like CCTV footage, etc. or if they remember something from the night, etc. then they can call into the BBC anonymously and give the police anonymous hints which may actually help to solve crimes and it does solve crimes. So it was interesting when this story came out about the Madeleine McCann reconstruction here it is. One of the actors used in the reconstruction of a kidnapping of a young girl was a porn star. Now, <laughs> that's an interesting headline, isn't it? That's an interesting headline. And I'm going to give you the details of the story. The actor's name was Mark Sloan, and he played an extra in the actual reconstruction. He didn't play one of the main characters, so to speak. Well, he was, but it could have been anybody. You know, it wasn't a vital character role, so to speak. And he has appeared in films such as, get this, Sherlock Bones and Tight Rider, both of which are pretty awesome, awesome porn names. And he, as I said, he just played a friend who was kind of in the background. And some other things that might be interesting to know about him is that he was an ex-soldier, well probably still is an ex-soldier, and has had two tours as a sniper, including in Ireland. So he's clearly a man of honour and respect, so to speak, regardless of where you necessarily agree with people participating in the adult film industry, but he clearly knows, you know, he's a, nothing wrong with it. He's probably a very open-minded guy. Now, here's the problem. Everyone is saying this is bad because it is involving a porn actor not doing anything to do with porn, might I add. It's just regular, normal acting. <laughs> That's quite an important thing to mention as well. He didn't walk into the reconstruction looking like a porn star, so to speak. But... The issue is that since it's about the kidnapping of a young girl, they believe that having someone who is close, so close to the adult film industry is a bad idea to represent this case. Now, part of me agrees, part of me agrees, but the other part of me completely disagrees. The reason why I may disagree is that just because he's done that doesn't necessarily mean that he is not a credible actor, so to speak. You know, like, yes, he's done that, but you know what? He could also be Oscar-winning material. I don't know. I haven't seen Sherlock Bones or whatever, and I'll probably keep it that way, if I'm honest. And some of the other things to mention is that, yes, it's true he's done this, but it's working. <laughs> you know, he took part in the reconstruction, which has had over, apparently, 1,000 calls, which had, has led to new leads in the police investigation, of finding this young girl. So clearly it's a good thing that it's there. I'm not saying it's working because it was specifically him, but to say that, what are you going to do? You're going to say, oh, there's a porn actor there. Let's get rid of all this new evidence we've got. You know, well, you can't say that. It's working. Leave it alone. It's fine. And um, something else which I think is actually quite important and crucial to this story is that there was a vote on the end of the article which said, was it wrong for them to cast a porn star in the role of an extra, so to speak? And the results were quite interesting, actually. I'll just get the results of the poll here. Okay, so the results of the poll were, is it a bad idea that they cast this guy to play an extra in the reconstruction? 61.22% no, 38.78% said yes, that's a bad idea. Why is that a bad idea? It's not like they had, say, someone playing uh, the kidnapper who happened to be a porn star. That would be bad. But no, he's a guy who just happens to be there. It's okay. It's okay. You can't disregard the evidence from new phone calls and things because of this. And if I'm honest, the BBC's been doing this for a while, you know. In the last few months or so, they have actually had a lot of trouble regarding people doing things to do with sex. Like, mostly, the most obvious one is probably Jimmy Savile, in which it was 
it was a very big issue because they suddenly realised he is a paedophile and they struck all his names off the registers and the awards and stuff like that. But the BBC's been doing this for a while now. It's almost as if the BBC has, for some reason, just attracted all of these people. Or maybe the BBC's creating them. I sincerely doubt it. But for some reason, all of this evidence is coming out. I don't know. Maybe more people are perverts. I have no idea. Alright, so that's the end of the game. It was a 48 and something game. 42, sorry. So, pretty decent game. Check out the previous video in which I show you how to get Predator missiles in Call of Duty 4. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Peace out.